What's up everyone? Welcome to BCM Home of the Safe Bet. This is Michael and it's been a while but I'm back. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Check out our Patreon page to become a Patreon family member where you'll receive some cool perks. Want some merch? We've got t-shirts to baseball caps to phone covers from boxing to crypto and everything in between. So head on over to InStock Shop to find something you like. You can find the link below. Stick around to the end to see what the experts have to say, but first I'll break down what I think. I think a lot of people might be sleeping on this fight, and if so, I think it's a big mistake. Gary Russell Jr. will defend his WBC featherweight title against undefeated and dangerous Mark Mugsale. And it all goes down Saturday the 22nd of January in Atlantic City, USA. Russell Jr. has already defended his title five times, and the last defense was all the way back in early 2020. As for Magsayo, he's coming into this match on the back of some impressive victories, including his last, a KO win in the 10th against Julio Ceja. Mr. Gary Russell Jr. is coming off a very lengthy break from professional boxing, which also includes sporadic fights before that, once a year since 2015 in fact. But being the athletic specimen that he is, along with a healthy commitment to training, the transition back to the ring and big lights should be smooth. The lack of fights can be attributed to an inability to secure opponents, and if we take Russell Jr's word for it, it's because he's being avoided by the likes of Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson, and even Lomachenko who'd beat him once before. It's the usual back and forth between fighters and accusations of who's ducking who. But this is all besides the point, it's what the man does in the ring that matters and Mr. Gary Russell Jr. is talented and exciting to watch and at 33 he can still stick around at this level for some time. His record currently stands at 31 victories with 18 KOs and the one loss from Lomachenko. Before I go on I'd just like to mention how for a little guy at just 5, 4.5 he carries that typical moxie and scrapper mentality of many of the diminutive boxers in the fight game, and I love it. The fact that he sucker punched one of, if not my favorite boxers, Terence Bud Crawford many years ago in an altercation, and let me be clear, I don't like sucker punching or coward punches, but to me it proves that he has that little guy syndrome because he must have known that Crawford would squash him like a grape, but he did it anyway. So the punch wasn't ballsy, but doing it knowing the potential consequences was, if that makes sense. I think it's crazy that he says he'll go up to 147 and meet Bud, but again, I like that kind of swagger and Russell has plenty of it. In the ring, however, where it counts in a pro fight, Russell Jr. is sharp, evasive, quick, and a great counter puncher with power in both hands. He's experienced, patient, and times his punches to perfection. He breaks his opponents down. He judges distance well and stays in your grill, luring you to exchange so he can employ his sharp counter punching, something that Magsayo will be more than happy to oblige. The Philippines continues to produce quality boxes and Mark Magnifico Magsayo is one more to add to that list. Like his predecessors from Pancho Vio and Gabriel Flashilorde back in the day to more recent and contemporary legends like Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao to Donny Nientes and Nonito Donel, Magsayo is part of a rich heritage of proud Filipino fighters with many more names that I could easily add if it wasn't for time constraints. Admittedly, Magsayo has a long way to go before he can become a great, but from what I have seen of him, he definitely has the potential. Attack-minded is a little bit of an understatement as he does focus heavily on offense at the expense of his guard defense, which I would like to see him develop. But his movement is fluid, relaxed, and composed. He never looks tight or stressed, and he flows nicely when putting combinations together. It will be up to Russell Jr. to ensure he doesn't allow Magsayo to get any kind of rhythm or to settle because as well as having great natural movement, he also carries decent power. Distance control is another key aspect to his success so far in his career where he has 23 wins with 16 by knockout and zero losses or draws. He has the height and reach advantage over Russell but not the experience in terms of resume. Magsayo is yet to claim a decent big name. Defensively, he gets hit a lot, and if someone like Russell Jr. is allowed to tee off on Magsayo's head and body, it could be a disaster for Magsayo who tasted the canvas in 
his last fight against Julio Ceja, before eventually knocking out Ceja in the 10th round of their bout. Maxayo has shown he can recover, but takes too much damage. If Maxayo can improve on his defense, and I'm sure Freddie Roach will help him with that, then I think there's a bright future for him, but Russell Jr. is going to be a massive challenge for the Filipino. If I'm wrong, I'm happy to crack a few stale eggs open and drink balut juice on a warm and humid night, but I'm going with an upset win on this one. Maxayo is the underdog here, and Gary Russell has a way of outworking his opponent, and along with his speed, there will be a lot of punches Maxayo won't see coming, but I think he catches Russell with some Pinoy pop that shakes the southpaw and puts him in his shell. I think it will be messy, Russell has never been stopped, but I see the ref intervening at some point and stopping the fight, giving the W to Maxayo. That's a pretty fucking specific prediction. Chances of me getting this right are... You're crazy, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. Before we hear from the experts, a reminder that if you want to show your support, you can like, share, and subscribe. You can help this channel grow by becoming a Patreon member. And don't forget to check out our online merch. Links provided in the description section. Life is a fight outside the ring, and if you are struggling with depression, anxiety, substance abuse, low self-esteem, debt, sleepless nights, and so much more, I can tell you that I have been there and I have some crazy stories to share, but more importantly, I turned my life around and my experiences might help you to do the same. You can find out in my book, How to Get Out of Life Traps. It's available on Amazon. Just find the link below.